So I'm kind of going back in time a little bit with an anime series that I watched uh, on TV a while ago, but uh, and it has to do with a series, a popular series, but it's dated. <clears throat> it's called Tenchi in Tokyo. It's the, basically the last um, series involved with the Tenchi uh, with the Tenchi Moyo uh, saga. It's it's different than from the OVA, of course, and I think it follows on the heel of the Tenchi Universe um, series and movies. It's uh, not the most popular of the series. Uh, there was actually one came out like a three episode, three or four episode wonder came after it and was totally ignored. But this is recognized as the last series in the Tenchi series. Um, basically, the plot is Tenchi and the harem are at their home, the Masaki household, and Tenchi decides that he's going to go off to college in Tokyo, gets a place in Tokyo, and moves out, leaving the girls behind. Girls, of course, don't like this, and they try to find ways to travel to Tokyo to get to Tenchi because they all love him. You know, so that's basically the plot. Oh yeah, and there's a sinister force trying to destroy him, um, disperse the girls, and take over Earth and the universe. So, there's that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, the new female character in this uh, series is uh, Sakua, um, a girl that Tenchi meets in Tokyo, and she kind of has a weird hidden past. Um, this series came out in 97, so like I said, it's pretty dated. Um, a lot of people didn't like this series mainly because of the animation. It's totally different than the other Tenchi um, series and movies, so just keep that in mind. Uh, you can get past it though. Uh, it's a lot different than the other series in that it's more silly, even though there are certain interesting romantic and dark elements to this story. It's largely a very silly story. I think, like for example, in episode 3, the Sinister Force attacks the gang with self-aware cell phones. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying. So anyway, uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up and the reason why I'm telling you to watch it is not only A, number one, because it's been a long time, since 97, um, is actually the series is pretty cheap. You can get it in total and for a very cheap price, particularly if you go to a convention. I got the whole thing for, uh, I think, for, for like 20, 25 bucks at the most. Uh, so it was a pretty good deal for me. The other part of it is, is that it's just the same story. And it will... The storyline is actually pretty interesting. If you prefer the English dubbed versions, it's the same voice actors. So that's that's kind of comforting there. Um, so I encourage you, if you are a Tenchi Moyo fan, if you love the OVA, I would strongly recommend rounding out watching the whole Tenchi Universe thing by watching Tenchi in Tokyo. Um, I think you'll like it. So, found a great Mediterranean restaurant uh, in here in Baltimore. It's off of Ford Avenue. It's called Baba's Mediterranean Kitchen, or Baba's Kitchen for short. It is a small restaurant. You can do catering or you can do takeout. You can eat there, but you kind of have to wait for a table. There really aren't that many tables. It's a very small place, but it is very, very good. Um, I had the... We started with... Uh, uh, Baba Ganoush, which was amazing, a different take on it. I think they uh, put a little bit more olive oil with the eggplant and the, um, I want to say nutmeg was sprinkled over top of it. It, it was really, really, really good. Um, my friend had uh, a lamb kebab pita, actually. It was, um, it, it just looked awesome and she said it was awesome. And you'll see pictures here of it. And I got just what would seem ordinary and plain, a Greek salad, but it was probably the best Greek salad I've had that is outside of an actual Greek restaurant. Um, this place is great. I can't talk enough about it. Uh, website is www.babaskitchen.net. Uh, take a look at it. I suggest you visit if you like Mediterranean food. Uh, this is the place to go.